We're ready to cast today. So have a good look at your plaster. Make sure there are no cracks in it. Pull the base off and make sure there are no flakes of plaster in here because this is the funnel we're going to be casting into. So before we put this in the kiln, because we're centrifugal casting, we need to balance our arm. So I'll show you. So this is the centrifugal caster. So what you do is place your flask in the cradle. Slip that back. Put it in position. Slide your crucible up against it. Shift your arm out like this so that you can balance it. Undo the pin in the middle and what we want is for this arm to be fairly balanced and it is. So now we tighten this again. Slip the crucible back so that we can get our flask out. Take the flask out and now we go put this in the uh, kiln. In my little home kiln. So we're going to put this back towards the back because it's there's more heat in the back and we're putting that on little pieces of material so that it's up off the floor and uh, funnel down so that the material will run out. Close the door and turn this on. So now we're going to do our uh, heat program for eight hours. We're ready to cast. So what we'll do is we'll wind this three turns set the pin make sure that our metal is in the crucible and it's pulled back then we'll go get our uh, flask out of the kiln be sure you wear a glove when you uh, use the tongs to take the flask out because the kiln's still going to be at 500 degrees so it'll burn you if you don't wear a glove. So now I'm going to get the uh, flask we'll put it in here, slide this up against it, heat the metal then we'll release it. So we've taken the flask out of the kiln, have a good look, make sure there are no cracks. Put the funnel part towards your crucible. Slide that up to it. Now we're going to uh, melt this. Wear casting glasses, just in case you have a spill, you don't want this in your eyes. So just adjust your torch, it'd probably be better to uh, hold it in the shade so you can See what your flame is doing. So now we're going to melt this until it's nice and smooth and rounded and shiny. We can mix it with our uh, carbon rod just to make sure that everything's all melted. But you can just heat it up, watch the metal, and when it's nice and smooth and shiny, it's ready to cast. So our metal is nice and smooth now. If you're going to stir it, always heat what you're stirring it with so it doesn't freeze the metal. It looks really good. 
what we're going to do now is release the pin and we're going to raise the torch, release the arm and duck behind the shield all at the same time. And that's just in case you have a sill, uh, it'll get hit, it'll be captured by the shield. Doesn't happen very often. So let this stop of its own accord. Then we'll sit the flask to the side, let it cool until it, the button isn't red anymore. And then we'll quench it in water and see what we have. So now we slide our crucible out of the way. Grab our flask. And you can see the metal in the button here. I always put more metal in than I need because it, uh, it doesn't really matter if we have more in the button. It just gives us more push against our uh, pattern. Okay, while we're waiting for the last flask to cool, we'll put the one that is cooled enough into the water. Go straight to the bottom. Swish it around and you can feel it rumbling and when it quits rumbling you can touch the metal with your hand. So there's my flower. Not as nice as I wanted. So I'll, I'll do it again. But it's a good beginning. So these are the pieces that I cast with this video. And as you can hear, all these leaves are silver. And the flower. But we have to redo the flower because it didn't come out good enough. 